Hey everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll talk about Cadestral. Actually, we'll continue to talk about Cadestral because if you haven't seen the previous video, I'll recommend that you do. You'll gain more context about what Cadestral is and why is it amazing. So we played around with Cadestral a bit. We asked it a few, few questions and stuff and i was easily blown away by the latency of it it easily beats llama 3 which is kind of hard to beat right so this has to be something this is a huge milestone for mistral ai so yeah cool stuff now the problem is as a developer and cadestral is fast and I want to use it within my workflow with while I'm working. So I want it within VS Code. And what are the ways through which I can integrate Codestral into my working environment within VS Code? Let's go and find out. So here we are in the VS Code. So there is no direct, for example, if I go ahead and search cadestral. So, okay, I get continue.dev extension, which is the only extension that supports cadestral and GPT-40 and more, right? So it has a few stuff here. So obviously it's open source, which is kind of good and it works it, it works well with VS Code and JetBrains. So here we have the interface. Okay. And then we have a few commands. Command L to tab to autocomplete. Code suggestions. All right. And then we have tab in Mac OS to sort of refactor uh, a particular function or a piece of code. And then we have command I to ask questions about a code base. All right, we'll explore everything that's been uh, listed over here. Let's go ahead and install it first. All right, so we are done. The extension continue cadastral wants to sign in using GitHub. All right, I don't need to do that right now. So, so yeah. So where can I, so this is continue to cadastral. All right, let's find the setup that works the best for you. Use API key and local models. No code will leave your computer, but less powerful models are used. Works with Olama, Elm Studio and others. All right. Okay, if I go here and use API key, continue. Select provider, Mistral API, select and Codestral, and get API key. Yep. So I'm here. I'm going to generate my API key and I'm going to copy this here and go back to my code and all right, add model. And here we have it. Uh, cadestral, cadestral latest. It has a context length of 32k. Provider Mistral, perfect. Um, I don't need to set uh, custom commands right now. Tab autocomplete. We already know. We already know the command to actually uh, sort of activate this. So we are done here. All right. Welcome to continue. This is a two-minute tutorial. All right, let's let's try to build stuff up. So we are here. Uh, let me open a dummy project. So I'm going to go to document. Do 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 cadastral test. It's a folder I created. It's empty and perfect. And enter. So command I command I to generate the code. So all right, so could I type instructions to generate the code. Perfect. So I need, what should I generate? All right, a Python script to launch a web server and enter. 
Man, that was quick. All right, so what we can do is uh, we can select this. And if I go into my extension and go to continue, so it had a few instructions for us. So if I, so if I say, if I go ahead with command L, tap to autocomplete suggestions. Okay, so uh, command L is for suggestions. Command I is for asking to sort of generate the code that we just did and tab to refactor the function. Perfect. So let's go back to our code here. And this looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and save it. So do do do. All right. So add to chat command L. Edit highlighting code command I. All right. So add to chat. Let's add to chat. Let's see what happens. Command L. Oh, perfect. So, all right. Can you explain what is happening here? Perfect. Yes, this is a Python script that sets up a simple TCP server using the socket server module. I heard the breakdown. Awesome. 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 All right, so perfect. So we have our server running. Let's see if we can sort of generate a get route for this server. So I'm going to say command L. Can you generate a get route within this code? All right, if you want to handle get requests manually, you might want to consider using a more feature rich library. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, so here I have the flask code and we don't need this anymore. Perfect. So this is kind of cool. So let's check out how we can use the uh, let's try to build another route over here. So app dot route and user. Now let's say def. And how on earth? Oh, so now I can use tab. And easily, uh, I can say this that it's faster than Amazon Q for sure and Copilot as well. And that's exactly what a developer needs, you know, just a fast response. So you can just type in and wait for GitHub Copilot or Amazon Q to actually respond back to you in like a latency of like two, three seconds, even sometimes five seconds for larger functions or for a larger context. So this is kind of cool. So here's like a short walkthrough for you, which you can use to work with cadastral, add cadastral within your workflow and sort of benefit from its super, super, super fast latency. So, and obviously the throughput as well. So if you have got any questions, please drop them down in the comment section. Happy to help you out here. And yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.